This is Michael Orl of AndroidAuthority.com and we're going to show you the cupcake release of Android running on the Android emulator that's part of the Android SDK. I mean, first you're going to have to go through follow directions in our post and install the Android SDK. It's pretty simple to do, you know, it basically just extracts to a directory. You can see here I've got it in the on my C drive. It's called Android SDK Windows dash 1.0 underscore R1. It's the release one. So it's an old release of the SDK when I installed it. Doesn't matter what release of the SDK you have though. What you have to do is just get the file for the cupcake image files that we have on the site and install them into the tools live images directory. And it's what you're going to be do doing is unzipping those files and replacing these three image files with the new ones from the cupcake release. Once you have that done, it's pretty simple. You just go into the tools directory and run the emulator, which you can see right down here, emulator.exe. Double click on it, and it'll start to load in a second. You're going to see it come up here. It says Android here. Android boot logo comes up here. And so it's starting to boot just like it would a normal device. And in a second, you'll see the main screen. Yeah, this is the main desktop very much like uh, a regular Android phone, like on the G1. Um, you can't run it horizontally and you know that kind of thing, but pretty, pretty accurate as to what Android looks like. So you can see the main menu, things like that, and, you know, sub-menus for settings and stuff. So to show you uh, quickly just one of the new features in Cupcake, uh, the big one I guess for most people is the virtual keyboard. This is the browser we've got loaded here, and you'll notice as soon as I click, you know, which is emulating a finger press, as soon as I click into the input box, virtual keyboard comes up. Now I can start typing on the virtual keyboard. You know, I type Android. You can see in the history I already have Android Authority here, so I'm just going to click on that to save time. Once you're out of the input box, the keyboard goes away, so you get the full benefits of a large screen. So here we have the result. We're just going to click on the link, go through to the Android Authority site. And here it comes. I'm going to zoom out a bit just so you can get a better look at it. And again, for searching, you know, we click in here. Any text input at all, whether it's email for Gmail or something like that, or you know, input boxes, virtual keyboard comes up. You can search on Let's see, let's search on Cupcake, C-U-P, and you can also use a regular keyboard too. It's a lot easier when you're doing the emulator to just use your regular keyboard, but I just wanted to show you that it actually works. Hit the Enter key, get our search results on Cupcake, and then you'll see a bunch of stories that we've done relating to the Cupcake release. So, hit the home screen home button rather go back to the desktop and you know you can see what's going on here moving the settings go down to about firmware firmware version 1.5 you can see the kernel version all that kind of stuff so quick look at cupcake running on the android emulator as part of the uh, android sdk